What is up guys? It is me, the true J1 Digger again, and today we have another uh review of uh Monster Jam Spin Masters Mystery Mother Series 4. Um it's been uh what a good a little break right now, you know. You know, a lot of things has happened, you know, hurricanes and all that, you know, but I'm fine, I'm okay, you know. And um yeah, and I was supposed to have a trip, but um it was canceled, so uh, but then to the hurricane again, so um, yeah. But hey, you know it's fine. You know I'm here. You know I could do recordings again. You know so um, yeah. And then uh, I'll tell you something else in the end of the video of something else. So um, yeah. But um, today we're gonna review just these two trucks today, and then maybe down the line we'll see. I'll review more down the line. So I have a lot of trucks right now that needs to be reviewed. It's gonna take me time, but you know that's what it is right there. So yeah. So the the mystery mutters that we have today is the series four um Earthshaker, which we got right here, and the Megalodon right here. Um, now I don't know what they are gonna be once we get once we reveal them. I don't know at all because these two are like the ones I don't know. Like I don't know what colors they're going to be and all of that. It's gonna be a mystery until we find out. So um yeah. Again, they have over a hundred, um over a hundred different uh designs for both of the trucks maybe basically 100 for the earth shaker 100 for the megalodon same thing goes for like the other mother series if you have them you know so um yeah yeah um again there's not too much to say you know about it but you know there's nothing to, sh to be seen because they're all covered in mud you know so um yeah so what i'm gonna do right now is that i'm gonna um, go and try to get these guys clean to see what they actually are so um yeah so I'm gonna do that real quick and I'll be right back to we could do see what they are actually beneath the mud. So yeah, be right back. Alrighty guys, after a good a few minutes, a good 15, 20 minutes, me trying to um get the mud out of the truck, we were able to do it. There were some areas that I had a really rough time trying to get the paint out because um uh, there are some that, you know, it's not the best idea. I'll show you when I show it, but I really hope maybe some of you guys could tell me whether there's another option to take the other, some parts of the mud out very easily, you know? So, um, yeah, I had to use a toothbrush and all of that to get them out, but uh, I tried my best, but I couldn't, you know? So, uh, yeah. But anyways, we're going to show you the two trucks, you know, what they look like out of the mud. And, uh, yeah, and it looked very similar, to be honest, with the paint scheme and all that. So, yeah. So, the first one we're showing is Megalodon. The Megalodon that we got is the, if I'm assuming this is blackish, grayish Megalodon around here. Um, yeah. And, yeah, you can see the top. It's, there's still some mud um, or mudish on top of it. You know, especially on some areas, like on the chassis and all that. But I'll probably, probably, over, probably maybe one of you guys could tell me if there's another way to get the mud up more easier. Maybe to use hot water or something. You know, but it's like it's not it's not coming off, especially when you have white areas. You know, uh, which is probably not the best idea of using when you have mother series for some reason. It's not the best of having white on the truck because it just won't come out for some reason. But, um, yeah, but again, Megalodon, uh, which is, uh, I think grayish, bluish, I think, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know. It looks grayish on some areas and then bluish on some areas and then black on the sides. I don't know. I don't know what color it is, to be honest, but it looks, it looks great. It looks cool. You know, um, it looks really awesome. You know, it kind of, kind of reminds me of, like some movie I watched, you know, for like sharks or something. I think it's called Deep Blue Sea. Can this one kind of looks like it, you know, from the paint, from the paint and all that, but, um, yeah, again, again, Megalodon looks like the bad. They did, they did a great, great job, you know, mixing the paint and all that. It looks really great. It really does. So, um, yeah. But again, I uh, really hope I could try to get more of the mud area, mud parts out of the truck, you know, to be sparkly clean. But um, that might be happening over time. Maybe one of you guys could tell me in the comments below. But again, Megalodon, uh, Mother Series, it looks great. Uh, I don't know. Um... Well, the other ones will look like the other Megalodon Mother Series. Like, I'm not going to buy another one. This is the only one I'm going to buy only. So, um, yeah. Now, we're going to go and look at the Earthshaker, which if you, when you look at it right now, it looks very similar to, to the Megalodon. But for but instead of just, uh, um, yeah. <laughs> so, um, Earthshaker, um, it has some areas that kind of looks like um, the, I don't know if I could I ever remember. It look, kind of looks like. Um, galaxies, maybe? I, I don't know. It kind of reminds me of galaxies, you know? It kind of reminds me of it. So, um, yeah. But the, the mud, the mud from this Earthshaker was able to come off, especially from the chassis. 
you know uh if you look very closely into where the white is there are some parts of it that still has mud on it so um yeah that's kind of an issue right there you know about the white it's just the problems that the mud just cannot get off the white you know um there are some areas that still have mud on it you know you, i think i don't know if you could see it on the camera but there are some areas that have mud maybe i don't know if you could see it or not but um yeah but again you know um this one was much better to get the mud on all that compared to the megalodon but again earth shaker looks great it looks awesome you know i don't know again i don't know what the other earth shakers look like uh probably they all look cool as well too uh i never checked the number the number right here we this is earth shaker number three out of a hundred of all the different earth shakers you can see right there out of um es2 Oh, 03 that is the number for the earth shaker and for megalodon the number for megalodon if you if you look at right here is mg2 slash no dash i don't know if i don't remember oh nine that is the number for the megalodon right here which is basically you know, this megalodon is basically if i'm correct number nine and earth shaker right here is number three as you see right there but um yeah but again, again, they look amazing. They look awesome. You know, very curious what the next Mudder series will be, what the next two trucks are going to be. So, um, yeah. But anyways, guys, uh, let me put it over here. Anyways, guys, um, yeah, thank you for, so much for watching this video. It's a very short video. You know, I was thinking about doing another, um, another review as well today, but I'm not going to because I got things to do and all that. And then next week, Monday, will be the another Monster Showdown video, which will be showing the new trucks that came out all that so um yeah i got a long week week ahead of me so um yeah but um anyways guys hopefully you guys did enjoy this video if you guys did enjoy this video hit the like button subscribe if you have not subscribed to my channel subscribe subscribe you know so um yeah but again anyways guys thanks so much for watching and as always i will see you all in the next video bye bye